shift register and sieve register is capable of shifting its binary information either in the right direction or in the left direction the logic configuration of a shift register is very simple it consists of a chain of flip flop which are connected in cascade and every output of flip flop is connected to the input of next flip flop and in shift register all flip flop receive a common clock pulse we will see a example of simplest form of shift register this is a simplest shift register here we have a clock pulse the bubble in the clock pulse represents or the flip flop is negative edge trigger and in the left most side there is a serial input and all flip flops are connected in cascade way and here it is serial output so whenever there is a input present in the serial input so when the clock is triggered or the next clock pulse come whatever will be the information present in serial input just reflect in or just reflect here and our digital system is set to operate in a serial mode when information is transferred and manipulated one bit at a time in the serial mode of operation the content of one register is transferred to another register by shifting one bit at a time and the information transferred one bit at a time by shifting a bit out from the source register into the destination register so the serial transfer of information for any register a to b is done with shift register so we will see that how a serial transfer of information is done from register a to register b so we will first draw a block diagram for this purpose there are two shift register we already saw how to design and how shift register is operate so we have to shift contain of register a to register b there must be a shift control input signal and a clock pulse or the clock whenever is a shift control is high the bits of shift register a will transfer serially to the shift register b this is a block diagram of shift register and here the clock signal and the shift control and this is cp will will which will given to shift register a and b now we will see a serial transfer example suppose the contain of shift register a shift register b and this is serial output of b so contain of shift register is 1 0 1 and contain of shift register b is equal to 0 0 1 1 so this is the initial value of register a b and initially the output of register is 0 so the clock input is defined by this signal this is a shift control and this is cp given to shift register a and b so whenever the cp is high then there will be a shifting in register a and b so this pulse is represented by t1 t2 t3 and t4 so after t1 apply the content of shift register a is transmit again to shift register so here this one will transmit in this position and this one is transmit in this position this is one this one will transmit here one the zero will transmit here zero and this one is transmit in this bit and this one will transmit in this position again zero will transmit in this position the zero will transmit in this position and this will one 
and this one is the output of or the serial output of B. Similarly, after applying block pulse T2, again shift, shifting will be done in similar way. And this one is again when it here, these bits are transmit here, and this one will transmit here. So it will be this one will transmit here. Now after applying clock pulse T3, it will be 0, 1, 1, 1, and this 0 will transmit here. 1, 1, 0, and this will be 0 here. Again, for the T4 power clock pulse, this one is 1, 0, 1, 1. This one will transmit here. 0, 1, 1, and this 0 will here. So the content of registered A after 4 clock pulse is 1011 and the container of shift register B is 1011 and the serial output is 1100. Whatever is the value of register B, it shift to the output one by one with the clock pulse CP and register A content will transmit or transfer to register B content after 4 clock pulse. So from this example, we can easily understand the difference between serial and parallel mode of operation. In serial mode of operation or in serial mode, the register have a single serial input and a single serial output. As clearly seen in this example. The information is transmit or the transfer one bit at a time while the register are shifted in same direction. And in parallel mode, information is available from all bits of register and all bits can be transferred simultaneously during one clock pulse. So our computer or any digital computer can operate either in the serial mode or in the parallel mode or in the combination of both. So we can easily conclude that serial mode operation are slower because of the time it takes to transfer information in and out. But the serial computer or the serial mode require less hardware to perform operation. Serial operations are slower. Serial mode operation or the serial computer require less hardware because in this case one circuit can be used over and over again to manipulate the bit coming out of register. So the time interval between clock pulse is called bit time and the time required to shift the entire contain of shift, shift register is called word time. In a parallel computer or the parallel mode of operation control signals are enabled during one clock pulse only and transfer into register are in parallel and they occur upon application of a single clock pulse. Generally, our computers or most of the computers operate in parallel mode because this is a faster mode of operation.